Hey guys, um, got my mic. Uh, sorry for my voice if it's a bit squeaky. Can't help that. Everyone was once. Basically, this is a basic animation of 3D text explosion. Uh, 3D Studio Max 2010. So we're gonna start off. Well, for one thing, you can make a plane. That's basically a background or the floor. Going to go to. Uh, how is it? Here we go, spines, text, get some text out, there you got mine. Sorry, f by the way, sorry for the lag, computer ain't the best while I'm recording. 90 degrees, move it a bit. Go to this view maybe. Right up a bit. Sure I get the Y axis. Can, but if you can't, then yeah. And move back a bit. Then, what you want to do? Go to modifier, bevel. I've got my bevel out there. Basically, go to parameters. Should know this anyway. If you're new, then you should change it. Bevel values here. Um, basically, just adjust your height, all of that stuff. Um, whatever you really want. Okay, so um, after you've done that, basics really. Um, I'm gonna do. You want to go to create shapes and no, not shapes, geometry, and you want to go to particle systems. You want to get this thing called Paray. Right, so now you got Paray. You should have a little cursor. Gonna get a box, put it over the text. Doesn't matter where. I did it in here. I'm just gonna quickly move this there. Um, to about there. So it isn't in my way a lot. Okay, so now we've done that. You should go to modifier and make sure Paray is selected and you want to go pick object, another cursor, click on the text, and what you'll see now is look little plus signs. You don't want that though. So what we want to do if you don't know this already, have got 500 keyframes, and go to this time configuration and once they start time and end time. That'd be 100 if you got it on default. You want to change end time to 500. Click OK. And you should have 500 frames. Now, what you want to do, you want to make this a uh, big blast and the text explodes and it's all good, good. Alright, so we're going to go to the. Um, Sorry for that, I had to pause the recording. Um, I'm going to go to here. And, um, if I can find it, there should be a thingy called load slash save presets. Go on that. Go down, select blast, load. Alright, so now, look, you see all the particles. And they're out. Look, see that? Particles everywhere. Um, once you've done that, what you want to do is go, go on, have particle generation open. One. And you want to put the start time to about 150 frames, display to about 250. Basically, at the start now, it won't explode at the start, as you'll see now. Look, no, nothing. Once you've got 150 frames, boom, 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 pow. So now, <laughs> damn, that's like that. But the only problem is, look, you see there's still the text. Look at the text, we don't want the text there. So basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the correct. We go to the start. We go to auto key, keyframe it, just as it is. And we're gonna go to 149 frames, and you're gonna select the text. And if I can get this object properties, you're gonna open me. Oh, option, option properties, get a visibility, press zero, and OK, and there should be a keyframe. Well, we've got another problem, look, 100 to zero, and then it explodes, and you don't see the text. Oh, what am I going to do? Get 148 keyframes, bring the first one, boom. Perfect, look at that. 48, go down, bang, explosion for the win. Like that. Now, if you wanted to, 
you could make a quick animation like this. I'm gonna quickly get to the start, move it here, Let's move it out, then I don't know, go to about here, move it back in. Just have a random thing, you know. Look, simple animation, you could make it spin, fly in, whatever you wanted. Look, boom, explosion. So basically, that was pretty easy, right? And you could easily remember that. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is look. The explosion's a bit too quick. So what you do, import this into Sony Vegas, right? And actually, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna quickly pause the recording, and I'm gonna quickly show you, all right, with one of the videos I already got, all right? Here you go. Resumed it. All right. Now you're in Vegas. You want to import the file? I'm gonna quickly take the promo. The effects promo. What you have not seen yet, because I actually no, I'm not actually gonna do that. From the folder it's in, and um, here, put it in. And as you can see, look, on it's just a simple animation of it zooming in, and then soon it explodes. So you want to find just before it explodes, right here. Just there. Cut it. You want? Take a picture of it. Need you one. All right. Um, if you want it to stay longer on that bit, then you just quickly drag the image there. Then you put that there. Hold control, drag it out, and it's slow mo. And what you'll quickly see if I just put it on the picture. A slower. And I mean slower explosion. So basically that's all you've got to do to make exploding text on 3D Max. What I think is pretty easy for everyone. Um, yep. Um, some people might be wondering how I get all look, all the graphics actually in the text. That will be my next tutorial. Um, so basically subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, if you can recommend this channel to all your friends we need requests for tutorials please leave it in the channel comments thank you very much for watching it's time here for generation GFX thank you very much